welcome all to the Niels Roy Design channel and welcome to... Quite a face, um, the new BMW M3. So, where to start? Well, let me tell you this, the Mahusev grill is not the problem. Let's have a look at the proportional statement of the 3 Series and compare that to the outgoing model. Because to go into the future, one first has to understand the past and the 3 Series has a fantastic heritage. It's a brand on its own and it consists of many pieces of design DNA that um, came over the years uh, but have truly made the 3 series and now the 4 series as well into an icon. The 4 obviously is the coupe version of the 3 series, um, not just the coupe but also the convertible and then there's the 4 door coupe. <sighs> The name to me is already a bit of an issue. I'm not a marketing guy, I'm just a car designer, but when there is like an uh, E30 M3 uh, standing next to the current M3, a sedan and not a coupe anymore because the coupe now is a four series, a chaos. But anyway, I'm sure uh, there are some brilliant marketing guys that thought, you know, a four is more expensive than a three, so we will have to name the coupe for anyway let's get back to design and let's get back to these key design elements of the 3 series and in this case the outgoing 3 series is a beautiful platform to actually sketch over to emphasize these design elements very important is the long like elongated stretched shoulder line that has been on every single 3 series since the very beginning. That very strong shoulder line, emphasized by a little bit of drop shadow underneath, which then is a beautiful base for, in this case, the sedan to have that fender flare coming out. Um, we have a bit of an issue there, but oh my word, has it gone worse in the current car? Because what we see here is that if you look at, for instance, an uh, Audi RS4, uh, you will see a new door skin has been put on. In this case, that hasn't been the case. There is a new rear fender uh, that is wider, and it obviously has to link there on the shut line to the original door. Here, they've solved it kind of okay-ish. It's still kind of forced, but they, they almost get away with it. You can see... Uh, this is, you know, it's, it's lovely and rounded up until here where it sort of dives into the shut line. Um, and here, obviously, at the front, um, they have a new fender, so this shape can just um, flow nicely. Anyway, it's, it's understandable. There's not one car designer, not a BMW either, that can be really blamed for this. Uh, there's not one car designer that wants it like this, but it's the bean counters, those that talk about the money that say, well, we're not going to do a new door skin. Anyway, so apart from that, a lovely piece of design, great surfacing, a great skin, a very important piece of design here, the so-called Hofmeister kink. Mr. Hofmeister was a car designer at BMW, introduced this to um, the BMW brand in the 70s, and since then it has been on every single car ever produced by the brand. The X series, so the X5 for instance, the, the big SUVs have it, the Tourings, so the station cars of BMW, the sedans, the coupes, really lovely piece of design uh, and a part of the BMW brand DNA, well executed here as well, running into the shut line of the door, you know, a well proportioned car, uh, the, the lovely L-shaped uh, tail lights here, a typical BMW uh, design element. Here at the front, it's important to have a look at uh, the so-called down the road graphic so the face of the car if you like again lovely executed i really enjoy looking at this car even if it's not an m3 like this car if it's just a regular uh, you know uh, petrol or diesel version well done uh, a new interpretation of the so-called corona rings these uh, 
double rounded headlights, very typical BMW, introduced first on the 5 Series of a couple of generations ago. Well integrated here into the design. There's this lovely eyebrow into the headlight there, which has an extra focus due to the little bit of shadow that's dropped by, uh, let's say, the bonnet here. The grille, nice and three-dimensional, rather than only having the frame here, uh, you're actually able to have a look at the side, if you like, of the frame, uh, making this BMW grille uh, more sculpted, um, more horizontal as an orientation, which links back on a very refreshing way to the first 3 Series, which had this face, this very angular face with the four rounded headlights in it. Lovely surfacing, uh, an interesting way of obviously showing the width here of the new bumper and the new fender um, by, um, by having that little bit of extra surfacing there. Um, obviously the car is wider in front so you have to do something with that and it's nicely emphasized here. Just a, a lovely piece of sculpture, a lovely piece of car design. Let's have a look at the side view of the new car compared to the outgoing car. And I put them right on top of each other just to show you what we actually see. And, uh, you know, I, I just, <laughs> it's not much you can say, right? I mean, the, the Hofmeister is gone. I mean, what on earth is that? It, 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 there is some sort of arrow shape in there. So it breaks here, it breaks there, and it breaks there. Um, yeah, sure, then there is a flow there, but remember how we discussed this surfacing issue here at the back. I mean, what on earth is going on here? Yeah, sure, this flow is there, but then here, I mean, wow, this is some twist it uh, there's a massive bulge here uh, of course it's it's running around nicely there but i mean it, it just look at this unbelievable anyway um and and it doesn't just stop there you know they didn't just delete the most important piece of design uh, ever done for bmw the hofmeister uh, they ruined the servicing too sure there is a line there uh, which goes more or less from the front to the back but it's not that obvious. Uh, what is way more obvious is the fact that there is not just that line, but there is this line. This is way harder than this one. It's way harder too, which then stops here. So uh, then there is this line here, which just goes into the rear bumper shot line. Uh, there is this line, very obvious. So it's harsh in there. And then there's this surfacing here. BMW, I said that they wanted to show more precision in the surfacing, in the skin, a, a more refined way of developing it. But I mean, the, the whole theme of a 3 Series is gone. What made the 3 Series the 3 Series has been deleted. Sure, one has to innovate. Sure, one has to push forwards. And Mr. Chris Bengal has done that, I think, brilliantly well with his take on what a 3 Series could be. So there is always room for improvement. There is always uh, room for a new original idea and BMW has to push the boundaries. They are a brand that is not safe like uh, Audi or, or Mercedes-Benz is in that sense. They, they are pushing hard on their own design DNA. They're brave, but the, 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 the car is a chaos, you know? I mean, there's so much going on. And the same goes for the rear end. A rear three quarter view here. And there. There is so much stuff going on. So much little highlights that are stopping here. And of course, I understand it's because of this is trying to influence that. But look at the amount of weird stuff being added on that car. You know, this is super hard, super square has nothing to do with the, the form language, everything underneath here, with what is going on there. And this softness doesn't really link to this either. Well, we've got the, the L-shaped uh, tail lights here. Uh, fair enough, uh, pretty interesting and, and more three-dimensional, more sculpted way of looking at that. Um, you know, sure. Um, 
try to say something positive here um, but this line that just comes from nowhere and goes into nowhere and has no historical significance and, and, and look at what, what's happening here with the highlights and see how hard this is <sighs> anyway not ideal not ideal um, you know this is clear now that the, the the design strategy at BMW is what is lacking because if one looks at the front grille as an idea I'm not even I guess against a larger grille as such um, it, it's a it's a way of pronouncing the brand DNA BMW has had very large vertical grilles on uh, some of their uh, historically relevant cars and significant cars but this is just so underdeveloped it's so harsh um, the the surface treatments here at the bottom how it um, the, the the lower grill let's say or frame they, they call it a frameless grill uh, but well whatever you want to call this then is hitting the the bottom spoiler it's so crude it's so underdeveloped and it's such a mess and you know the outline for instance so the graphic of the headlight in no way at all is influenced or informed by the outline of the grill there or the other way around you know looking back at this car this is one world right this is one piece of design uh, as if it uh, has organically grown basically this is understandable every shape every volume every single material relates to the other material it's just not the case uh, looking at uh, at the new car I mean you see the differences right um, and yet again that grill is not the issue the mess the surfacing is like these graphics here on the bonnet why they have never been in a 3 series or a 4 series they don't do anything else then yeah I mean I understand what's happening they're mimicking the shape of the grill into the bonnet uh, perhaps a new piece of design DNA but I mean look at the the chaos in the nose in the surfacing of of that front bumper and why did they ditch these corona rings because they wanted to do something new now you can't even recognize a bmw from its headlights anymore you could do that 20 years ago but not anymore how is that progress i mean sure the car has a lot of road presence sure you know quad exhaust look cool the lack of sophistication in the surfacing can be seen here i mean just follow the shot line and how how things are forced around the corner here how nothing is going anywhere i mean nothing is influencing nothing it, it's just a hundred different graphics thrown together into one car and they they speak different languages um, i think the grill is honestly underdeveloped the way this kind of stuff is integrated i mean there is no excuse for that the grill ladies and gentlemen is not the problem thank you for having a look at this design review on the three series and a bit on the four series hope you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel and see you soon cheers <laughs>